Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. You're looking at some beautiful artwork that's on display. It will be on display tonight and will be up for, uh, for your for you to grab them uh, tomorrow at an event. Small, medium, and large. That's the size of the paintings, that's the size of the artwork, and the name of the event. Joining us to talk about that, uh, Claudia Gutierrez. Hi. Did I get it? You oh, did. I did. I got it. Uh, and Nina Camilleri. Great to have you guys on the show. Thanks. I love the concept behind this event. Yeah. So, I, you kind of, it's like ordering coffee. You're ordering your art in small, medium, or large. Exactly. You're ordering your art to go. How is the event going to work? Okay, so you buy your ticket. Um, it's basically a raffle ticket, so you arrive to the event, you take a look at the artwork that you want to buy, your name gets called, and as quickly as possible, you choose a small piece, a medium piece, or a large piece. So they're all set prices. So pieces that would normally go for $4,000 are only going to be about $150. I see, that's amazing yeah. to see. So you have the different price points for small, medium, and large. So mm -hmm. the, the small is going for? $90. Medium? $120. And the large, one fifty. So you could have an item that would normally sell, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, for four thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And if you you're, you're called, you grab your large, you can be buying that for one hundred fifty dollars. Exactly. We have a sneak peek tonight, so you can take a look, make your list. We had people making lists last year at our event. I can imagine. And you start knocking off the ones that have gone, and by the time hopefully your name is called, you get the piece. So it's more of a lottery as to when your name gets called. Exactly. It is yeah. more it as to how we, fast yeah. you get in. We have uh, the opportunity to um, to buy more tickets, so you could up your chances of doing that if you're willing to do that. How much your tickets to get in? Um, $15 at the door. It's 12 in advance. That's amazing to see. Okay, what a, a great concept behind this. And for you, it, it must be wonderful for the faculty, for people who are involved in the art world to be able to have their items on display and, and to showcase it like they do at the school. Yeah, you're getting, um, what's neat is that uh, our instructors at the school are working artists and you're getting uh, some really like high quality artwork. It's a chance and it's a chance to meet the instructors, meet the artists and the students that are coming out of the school are top notch. So it's wonderful. Now it must be interesting for them to not only have, you know, be able to see their pieces but to see what their instructors, what their teachers are actually capable of doing as well. Yeah, yeah to be display. put up right beside an instructor that you've, uh, that, you know, you've taught that you've learned from over the past three years, that's really a nice accomplishment for the students as well. Now, what mediums are we are we using? We're seeing some paintings right here, but we're also seeing sculptures. I mean, are we looking at yeah. pretty much a broad, you know, span everything. of everything? Definitely, and I brought some examples of all those uh, being included at the show. So we've got textile work over here. Mm -hmm. uh, she's an alumni, actually, of the school, so she just graduated last year. Uh, her name is Jenny Smith-Windsor, and she does textile work. Um, we have earthenware, ceramic, um, so something like this. Lisa Kresge is a, a wonderful local artist. So this would retail for $600, and you're getting it for 100 bucks that night. That is so. that's amazing to yeah, see. Yeah. And then some of the other work here as well that we have uh, yeah, on the easels. So, um, this is a very unique piece by Natasha Mazurka. It's completely made in wax. Really? So, yeah. So it's all beeswax. Hold on, um, I gotta go. I'm <laughs> and it smells Can like I icing, actually. <laughs> It smells amazing. That um, is crazy. Yeah, she does very traditional encaustic work. Yeah. And then if we if we move down, this is one of our most popular teachers at the school. He's a really wonderful painting teacher, Andrew Fay, and he does these very kind of ambiguous narratives. You don't really know what's going on in his narratives. They're very fascinating. Pieces. It's a definitely a discussion piece. Yeah, for exactly. sure. Exactly. <laughs> and then over here, uh, this is Rob Hinchley, another really popular teacher at the school, and he teaches uh, printmaking. So this is a kind of collage yeah. printmaking piece. So you can see. Wide range of mediums, tons of different stuff. Tons of different things, and uh, tons going on at the school right now. I mean, for people who yeah. want to be able to get involved and learn and try yeah. different techniques, lots, lots going on. Yeah, our winter uh, registration will be starting soon, and then we also have uh, another fundraiser coming up, and it's the 27th annual holiday fundraiser, and the opening for that's on December 1st. And again, uh, this is members, instructors, students that are selling their artwork, and it's capped at $300, so all the pieces are fall from 300 and less. That's amazing yeah. to see. Uh, for those of you who are interested in being at the event tomorrow night, keep in mind there's a viewing tonight to be able to see some of the pieces and you can purchase some tickets at the door tomorrow. Absolutely. So $15 at the door, $12 mm -hmm. in advance and that's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, we've got I a like live this. jazz band as well. It's going to be a good party. It sounds like a lot of fun <laughs> and uh, some great value to get your artwork as well. Good luck with it. Thanks. Thanks. We're going to head over to Kurt, I believe, now for a look yes. at our final